Hey guys, we uh, finished that Ford and now we're about to start on another Ford. <laughs> uh, you may have seen this thing in the background and you've probably seen a whole bunch of uh, other trucks come in and out like an S10. There was a chassis cab back there. The, uh, the, uh, the next up on the slate is going to be this one. I don't know if it's a 50 or a 51, but I've slowly just been filming some stuff, actually starting, uh, like I've just been getting this truck ready to start building. I think it was in the fall already when I had brought the other truck in. I wasn't very far on that one at the time. But uh, yeah, I basically, we just got to roll some footage to get you up to date to where the truck is now. Uh, but essentially a while back I had stripped an S10. It has the donor chassis that we're going to use for this. And then I had stripped a, an LS and stuff out of uh, like a, a, like a van, a van chassis. So that's going to be the power plant for this. But anyways, what I'm going to do is we will roll the film of uh, me getting all the other stuff ready. And then uh, we'll come back and have a look at this thing. So you might have seen this thing sitting in the background all the time. Well, the plan is I want to use this chassis. I got a 51 Ford pickup. That's, uh, I want to stick on this chassis with, uh, I think it's a six liter or something. I don't know what's in there anyways, but I got an LS with a, I think it's an ADE transmission. So it's kind of a big combo. Might have to shorten the frame a bit. I think I do. Uh, but first steps is I got to strip this thing down. I don't need it. I don't need any of the junk on here. Probably gonna keep the seat. I'm gonna need the steering column, the pedal assembly, and possibly the e-brake stuff. We'll see. We'll see what we keep. There's not a lot though. Well, as far as this and the mechanical anyways, pretty much got to strip the body off. Bumpers, uh, but I do want the brakes and everything else out of it, so. I've already stripped anything that was of any good off of the, uh, the motor and stuff like that, so. Well, anything I could use somewhere else anyways. <laughs> Okie doke. Well, let's start stripping. The truck down, that is. Now this thing is blown apart really nice. Like every nut and bolts come out. The only one that didn't come out was uh, one of the front bolts up front here. It actually broke, so that was a win too. The box, everything. I got the two rear box mounts to do, and the motor mounts because it'll they're gonna have to come out eventually. And uh, well, I guess the body's ready to yank off, so that's pretty good. I think I have uh, a whole 10 minutes so far invested in this. This is pretty good. The cab has your typical rock or rot. Like I don't think I'm gonna destroy this cab like I normally do. I might 
sling it off nicely to put a sling to pull off because the floors actually aren't rotten or anything in it. So I think these trucks are getting a little more desirable. So that the inner rock, well, yes, I like the inner rocker's a little toast here, but whatever. Like this side's not bad. Totally be, totally usable compared to what these things usually are. Okay, well, I gotta get the rear bolts out yet, and then, uh, yeah, I can drop it. We'll uh, pull it forward, and then I can get the pedals and stuff out. It's too hard on the hoist, the stupid doors are hitting everything, so. We, uh, we're just about there. Well, at least this part. Then we'll get it out, use the tractor, kinda blow it apart there. All right, well, I got the steering column, pedals. We got the gas pedal. Ooh, it reminds me, I gotta take the gas throttle cable out of there yet. Uh, the seat's loose. I think for now, I'm just gonna throw the truck outside till I'm ready to work on the rest of the truck. Then this thing's all ready to go. All I gotta do is pull the box and the cab off and then I can bring it into the shop. That is the plant. So, one thing left on here is to get the Throttle pedal. Oh, I do have it off. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. We've pretty much just cut everything, lift the body off now. That's where this is at. All right. Well, let's get it out of the shop.
For this uh, Ford, <clears throat> we got like an old express van. So this is the donor chassis. Well, actually, <laughs> this isn't the donor chassis. This is the donor motor and transmission. I'm pretty sure it's just a 4.8. We got a 60E. I've already disconnected the drive shaft and the motor mounts. And we got the chassis, but it didn't have, uh, like somebody had stripped the body, everything off already. I guess they're using a storage or something. I don't know. So anywho, I'm just going to chain this up, get the motor off so I can get it to the side and then get this chassis out of here until I'm ready to actually start working on said truck. At least I have the motor and transmission ready to rock. Uh, there's not really much to use out of here, like the fuel system, anything else. I'm pulling the drive shaft and I'm going to keep it separate. Um, I might be able to use it in the truck yet, I don't know. At least it's there, it's the right length, I can shorten it up, need be. But for now, all I'm concerned about is motor transmission and, well, the computer and all that, which is not in the greatest of shape. I think this van was hit in the front in its prior life, so hopefully everything will be okay. Anyway, let's uh, get this thing yanked out so I can throw this chassis outside and be done with it.
So basically that brings us back to here now, where we're at. It's actually been a while because I've been doing a lot of work and at 37 trying to finish it. So this thing's been in the background for a while. Um, and parts have been showing up, so that's, that's good. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see. You can see how weird it's got this big three link and I don't know. A lot of weird stuff going on on here. But we want to do brakes, do lines. I didn't actually look at the chassis, so we're going to put all new brakes in it and stuff. I'll have to measure up, make sure the drums are all good. <clears throat> I'm hoping the front end's good, but I haven't actually looked at it yet. So we'll see how that works out. I might be ordering some more parts. I really wish I was able to clean this sucker up, but my water line froze to the shop. So I have no water and I can't run my pressure washer, which really sucks. So we'll have to probably scrape this sucker down. We're gonna have to, basically I figure before I do anything, I'm just gonna throw all new brakes in and stuff. Just get that out of the way. We will have to shorten the chassis up. The only nice part with these S10s is they're super, super easy to shorten. Because you see here, I guess the different size chassis, they, uh, they're just kinda, they slide into here and then they're welded here and here. So from this side, so the different lengths of chassis, this, this tube is just not as long. It just shortens up. So essentially you just do a nice little cut, slide it up, square it, burn it back in, done. Nobody's the wiser. But we're gonna have to strip everything off of this, pull all these mounts, everything else. We're gonna make everything new for it. We'll probably lose this. It'll probably just get a one piece drive shaft. I'm thinking of reusing this tank. This is an old school. I think this was a carbureted motor, if I remember right. I bought a sending unit that should just drop in. So I'm gonna steal the pump out of the, the donor chassis, mount it onto that. So we should be able to run all of our fuel injection just out of the, the stock tank on this one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Seems like it'll be pretty straightforward. The truck here is super clean. Like, I am so jealous. Like, it had some patchwork done on the one side. There's been some work done down here, but it was kind of done with the boxing in the back, whatever they did under the gate. And then there was a patch back here. But the inside's super clean. Like, it just looks minty. This truck by far is not going to get as ritzy as mine, I'll tell you that. I'm still waiting for more parts to come in, but we should have enough parts to get her going. I don't anticipate this truck will take very long to do, just because it's staying with this look. This whole patinaed look is uh, sticking around with it. Let's see if I can get this hood to open up. Oh yeah, there we go. So you can see, she set up her Mustang too. I'm sure you could put coils and stuff in the front, but the back is just really weird. And it's like kind of pro streety. So I don't know. If anybody's interested in this, I can maybe get you in touch with the owner of the uh, chassis. It's a few bits I have to steal off of it that I just need. So we'll need the running board brackets probably. The front bumper. But that's about it. I think that'll probably cover everything. This video is probably going to be pretty short and sweet. I think I'm really going to focus and try to get my water line on th thawed so I can, uh, I really want to pressure wash this thing. I don't want to sit here and have to uh, scrape this for days on end. But I'm going to leave this, like I say, leave this one pretty short and sweet. We are just giving you an update on uh, what is coming up for our next project. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you like. Uh, Pretty much want to just thank you guys for uh, watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one because I think it's going to be by the weekend is when I'm going to start hammering down on this sucker and uh, getting some stuff done. Starting with the chassis. We're going to see if we get it done there yet. But All right. Well, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.